This is High School English. Lesson 1. Dream big and achieve your goals. Achieve. Expectation. Common. Practice. Constantly. Adventurer. Explorer. Feature. Carry about. Remind of. Relatively. Include. Involve. Excitement. Regret. Opportunity. Solo. Kayak. Hit upon. Set foot on. Carry out. A number of. Enthusiasm. Inspiration. Perspiration. Outstanding. Anxious. Perform. Competition. Payoff. Fall in love with. Toe. Process. Limitless. Privilege. Overcome. Out of shape. Nothing more than. Make an effort. Dream big and achieve your goals. You are 17 years old. A wonderful age. Like all young people, you are full of hopes and expectations. At this important time in your life, I'd like to tell you about two people who realized their dreams. Put your dreams on paper. It is a common practice among successful people to write down their dreams on paper. They make lists of dreams and put them where they will see and read them often. They will put them under a glass cover on their desk or carry them about in their pocket so that they will be constantly reminded of the goals that they set for themselves. The following story is about John Goddard, an adventurer, explorer, and writer. In 1972, he was featured in Life, a famous American magazine, as a man who achieved his teenage dreams. 
One rainy afternoon in 1940, sitting at his dining room table, the 15-year-old Goddard hit upon a plan. He wrote, My Life Goals, on a sheet of paper. Then he wrote down 127 goals for himself. Some of the items would be relatively easy to achieve, such as visiting the Great Wall of China and joining the Boy Scouts. The list included other goals that involved excitement or adventure, such as sailing around the world and flying an airplane, showing a strong interest in exploring unknown places. Goddard also wanted to set foot on the moon and climb Mount Everest. What made John Goddard record his dreams on paper? He remembered that a friend of his dad's regretted not doing all the things that he wanted to when he was John's age. He thought, I never want to miss an opportunity to do things that I dream of. He carried the wish list everywhere he went and tried throughout his life to turn his dreams into reality. When life introduced Goddard's story with the title, One Man's Life of No Regrets, he had already realized 104 of his list of 127 dreams. He'd carried out a number of adventurous explorations, including the first solo kayak trip down the length of the Nile River and standing on the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. Your enthusiasm will pay off. Can only people of unusual talent achieve their goals? Certainly not. Thomas Edison the great inventor, once said, Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. The famous Korean ballerina, Gang Soo Jin, is a case in point. Gang Soo Jin fell in love with ballet at the age of 14, a very late start for anyone who desires to be outstanding at the art. At the age of 16, she entered the Monaco Royal Ballet School, where at first she was very anxious because other students performed far better than her. To master the necessary skills, she practiced for 15 hours a day. Her enthusiasm for ballet made her practice the moves hundreds, even thousands of times, 
until she perfected each one. In 1985, her constant effort helped her win the grand prize in a famous international competition in Lausanne, Switzerland. Sujin's toes became out of shape due to the long hours of hard work. Although her toes may look ugly, many people say they are the most beautiful feet in the world. Su Jin has said, put all of your energy into any goals that you want to achieve. Success comes only as the result of a long and painful process. Limitless dreaming is a privilege of the young. Your dreams, however, are not something to be caged in your mind. Without recording them somewhere, they may end up as nothing more than wild fantasies. Of course, recording your dreams is not enough. You also need to make a plan and make every effort to achieve your dreams. That enthusiastic effort will become the driving force to help you overcome the difficulties that challenge you in the course of achieving your goals. Lesson 2. Animal Expressions in English Fascinating Linguistic Analogy Comparison Convenient Similarity Logic. Draw on. Observation. Misinterpretation. Pretend. Pray. Stimulate. Flawed. Destination. Irregular. Get in the way. Weep over. Disappear. Obvious. Rare. Since. Refuse. Financially. Ruin. Crime. Mistreat. Describe. Cost a fortune. Refer to. Worthless. Die. Odd. Unpopular. Perhaps. Root. Stand out. Animal expressions in English. 
What do animals have to do with the English language? A whole lot. You'll be surprised to know just how many English expressions involve animals. Consider some of the fascinating ways in which animals are involved in everyday English. Let's begin with a basic linguistic process, the analogy. An analogy is a comparison between two things and a convenient way for language to create new meanings. Animals are usually used because they are familiar to everyone. By way of analogy, animal expressions draw on the similarities between animals and humans. People who are not courageous are called chickens, while brave leaders are said to be lion-hearted. In most cases, it is not hard to see the logic behind the comparisons. Animal analogies are based on close observation of animal behavior. However, what if the casual observation leads to false assumptions or misinterpretation gets in the way? Interestingly, this has often been the case with English animal expressions. Crocodile tears is a good example. One is said to weep crocodile tears if they pretend to be sad when they are not. The idea comes from the popular belief that crocodiles weep over the prey they kill. The fact is, crocodiles seem to cry while they eat, but this is because their eyes are stimulated when the muscles around the mouth move to eat. Their tears are only a physical response with nothing to do with feelings. Making a beeline also belongs to the group of animal expressions based on flawed observation. A beeline typically means a straight line between two points. If you make a beeline for someone or something, you go straight toward your destination, ignoring everything else along the way. For instance, your mom might have told you to make a beeline home after school. Now you may wonder if bees really fly straight to where they want to go. The answer is, usually they do not. As you may have observed, they make irregular twists and turns in their flight.
they often stop to rest and take a long way around. It is only when they return home with a load of honey that they make a straight line. In the case of the bee, only part of the truth came to represent the whole. Even though many people know that these analogies are not based on science, the expressions do not easily disappear in the language. In fact, partly due to these expressions, some people still hold the belief that crocodiles weep and bees always fly straight to their destination. Sometimes, the meaning of analogies may not be obvious. For instance, what comes to mind when you hear the phrase white elephant or black sheep? Most people, hearing these phrases for the first time, cannot correctly guess their meanings. The expression white elephant comes from Thailand. Long ago, in Thailand, white elephants were very rare. Whenever one was found, it was given to the king. The king would then give it as a royal gift to someone he did not like, since the beautiful animal cost a fortune to take care of. Nobody could refuse such a present, but it could financially ruin its owner. Moreover, it was a serious crime to mistreat a present from the king. Even riding it was not allowed, so a white elephant was almost useless. The expression, introduced in England in the 18th century, turned out to be useful for describing costly but useless public buildings. Today, it is used to refer to anything that might be costly and useless to someone. Black sheep, like white elephants, are not common, and they also mean trouble for their owners. The expression is from the English history of sheep farming. Long ago, black wool was worthless because it was almost impossible to dye. When a black sheep was born, the owners saw it as bad luck. Today, the expression black sheep refers to an odd and unpopular member of a family or a group, perhaps because the unpopular black sheep stood out in a group of white sheep. These interesting expressions are only a few examples of the English expressions having to do with animals. Watch for others as you learn more English. Be curious about them and research their roots. It is a fun way to learn the language.